Hi guys, this is a quick video to tell you that I am aware of what was causing the weird glitch I was getting when I was having conversations, thanks to you guys. You guys pretty much explained it to me in the early videos, and I have fixed the issue, it just won't appear in the videos for a few episodes, I think. For those of you that don't know, the problem was, when I was initiating conversation, I was initiating it with the C key, and I've rebound the C key to be the key that activates everything, because that's what I usually use, and unfortunately, the skip dialogue key in Cyberpunk 2077 defaults to C. Now, I didn't realise that this was a problem because I had unbound that key. I've now bound it to Z, which is the key I never use. I had unbound it, so this was blank, because I never skip dialogue. So, I didn't realise I could even skip the dialogue, and basically it was just happening. I'd, I'd press C, and, you know, if I held it even slightly too long, it would skip the dialogue. Now, in my defence, I didn't realise I was skipping. I thought there was some weird glitch that was part of the story. I thought it was something to do with the... You know, when V wakes up on that first morning, he complains about feeling a bit weird and having some glitches. And, you know, you go... I don't want to spoil it too much. Anyway, I thought it was something to do with that. <laughs> Turns out it's not. I was just accidentally skipping the dialogue. So a big thanks to you guys for pointing that out. That really did help me find it. And that's the sort of information I am, you know, really happy to get. That is definitely not spoiler information whatsoever. I did appreciate that. Now, there's been another issue, and I'm not sure anyone's noticed it yet, but you probably will, and it was an issue with opening terminals. Some of you are going to have noticed that I'd be going into terminals and then I'd be exiting out straight away. And it's pretty much related to, to, the, to the glitch issue. It's pretty much the same thing, actually. The C key defaults to the exit, to the close for these menus. This is also true for your car. And so I was just activating and then immediately exiting. I didn't realise this. I thought it just meant there was nothing on the computer for me to read. I did notice when I first activated my own computer that it, I would activate it, and then I could actually highlight things like this, and I thought that's how you're supposed to do it. Apparently not. You're supposed to actually stay in there. I have since found the problem in the key rebounds, uh, rebinds and changed it to the escape key, which is more natural for me. Now, none of this can be done through the menu. It's one of the weaknesses with the key rebind system. However, I did discover that there are a lot more files, configuration files, that you can tweak for rebinds. So it turns out my suspicion that Cyberpunk 2077 was hard coding things was incorrect. They're not hard coding anything. It's just they have not implemented the key rebinds in a way that covers absolutely everything and in fact doesn't cover some fairly major you know features like being able to rebind the activation key to whatever you want things like that it is not a hard coding problem which is good to know it is good to know it does mean we can fix it or we could even make tools that would make fixing it even easier and hopefully it means they will be able to sort this out eventually. Now, they had a similar problem with Witcher 3, so I'm pretty sure they will get around to fixing this. I'm guessing at the moment they've just got some other things they would like to prioritise, and I totally understand that. And for those of you who are on console, the old generation of consoles, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive and not make a big deal of the issues I'm having. They are pretty minor and I'm actually thoroughly enjoying the game, and I do feel a tad guilty about enjoying it when so many of you have been, well, horribly disappointed. So, you know, I'm, I'm well aware of things that are going on for you guys, but I'm just telling those of you who've been watching my Let's Play, not only do I know uh, what was causing that glitch and have fixed it, I'm actually aware of 
another glitch I was having. You'll probably notice it in the next episodes. And I finally get around, get around to fixing it at about, I'd say, episode 12, maybe 13. So you, you're going to have to put up with that for a while. You'll be, you'll be seeing me activate laptops and exit out and assume there's nothing for me to do there. And you might start screaming. Um, so now you know why. I've also changed my configuration files to stop the double tap dodging thing. I have to actually leave to show you this. Um, the base game has this double tap movement key to dodge things. So I'm going to double tap the left key now. And you can see nothing is happening. Same with forward, right, back. Because I hated that. It, it felt really awkward. And occasionally I would actually bump into things and feel like a bit of an idiot. And honestly, in combat, I find it a little weird to be sort of like, you know, sidestepping and then having to lift my finger and double tap to dodge. I've enabled dodge through one of the keys. In, in my case, it's the crouch hold key. So if I'm going sideways and I press it, I dodge. So I single press a key and whichever direction I'm going in, it will dodge. And I'm finding that a lot more instinctive. I've not had any fights yet, but I'm finding that a lot more instinctive. And if you're wondering how do I crouch, I actually use crouch toggle if I'm going to be doing any stealth. And that doesn't do anything. So if I go right and press, there you go. The, um, the crouch button I was never actually using, although I, I've decided I'm going to start using it for slide. I actually find it a little easier to press that button for sliding and then get up and sprint. And one great thing is you can't dodge whilst sprinting. So if, I, if I'm walking and I hit hold to crouch, I dodge. If I'm sprinting and I press... Uh, hold crouch a slide which feels very natural actually i've been playing around with it and it feels very natural because of course it's all athletic based so that's something else you will probably notice around about episode 12 or 13 i may start dodging more i've not really done much dodging in the fights i've had even melee i've really been sticking with blocking but now that i've got this set up i feel like it's a little smoother I may begin to uh, be a bit more agile just because it's comfortable and I don't have that horrible risk of constantly knocking into people when I'm just trying to travel around. Anyway, that's it. Just thought I would explain uh, the reason I've been having some glitches. I am aware of the various problems and thank you for pointing out what it, what it was. I would almost certainly have not figured out that I was skipping those conversations. I really genuinely thought this was actually part of the storyline that V was losing time, I guess. Like, like just, <laughs> I know, maybe that sounds ridiculous. It just, it just, I felt it made sense after what V said when he woke up that first morning. Anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. I'm going to go off now and uh, play some more.